Did you or a loved one serve at Fort McClellan and end up diagnosed with a rare cancer? My name is Zach Evans. I'm a disability benefits attorney with Woods & Woods, a nationwide VA disability benefits firm. Fort McClellan is located near Anniston, Alabama. It's home to the U.S. Army Chemical Corps School, amongst other detachments such as military police, and also served as a training ground for many of our female service members. The VA acknowledges low levels of cesium-137, cobalt-60, mustard gas, and nerve agents as part of chemical weapons response training on the site. However, one of the more concerning residents in Anniston has been pumping out deadly contaminants of another flavor for years, Monsanto. That's right, Monsanto, the manufacturer of deadly herbicide Agent Orange, has been polluting the Anniston area with mercury and polychlorinated biphenyls, also known as PCBs. Residents of the town were awarded a $700 million settlement after it was discovered Monsanto had knowingly dumped toxins into area creeks for 40 years, including the drinking water supply. Those who were not included were our servicemen and women who served at Fort McClellan. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified PCBs as definite human carcinogens. The EPA believes them to be probable human carcinogens. Endocrine disruption, especially with the thyroid gland, and neurotoxicity are also known consequences of PCB exposure. Residents in the area were found to have over double the risk of fatty liver disease as opposed to the rest of the United States population. PCBs have also been linked to an increased risk of diabetes and hypertension. If you served at Fort McClellan and were diagnosed with cancer, or if your loved one was, and maybe you've lost them, give us a call at Woods & Woods. We're fighting this issue right now, and we'd love to fight for you.